This is the Arduino Nano. And did you know that you can actually debug this thing without any hustle, extra hardware or much effort? If you're ready to find out, stay tuned. Hi and welcome back in Grandma's cool basement over here. Now if you're completely new to Arduino and all Arduino debugging, then you might just be naive and just look it up on Google and see what comes up. Arduino debugging and hit enter. Just check out the first few links. Now, okay, you've probably seen this before where it says, okay, just use serial to print line. Do you even know what debugging is? This is not debugging. This is, this is a cry for help. Okay, let's check out the next link. Debugging with the Arduino IDE 2.0. Okay, so you mean to tell me that the first IDE doesn't support this for whatever reason. Just include it in the first IDE, why are you putting it in the second one? Okay, let's check out the third link. Run Arduino debug XE Windows. Oh God. Uh, this is some very beginner friendly stuff I can already tell. Why? Why is it such a mystery to just debug Arduino? It works just like that and I'm gonna show you how. The first thing I'm gonna need you to do is you take that Arduino IDE and you... No more. We're going to use a program called Visual Studio Code with the Platform I.O. extension, your future IDE. You'll then want to fire up Visual Studio Code. You can get that from Microsoft for free. It's open source and that's wonderful. You want to head over to the extensions tab and look for platform IO. It will come up here, just install it. It'll have a little install button just here. And then you will be greeted by an additional little button here uh, with this little alien looking dude. And then you'll want to press open. And what this does, this is an extension so powerful that you could consider it its own IDE inside of Visual Studio Code. And we'll be working with this from now on. If you want to create a new project, then you hit new project. I mean, damn. Give it a name like um, test. It's, it's always good to name your projects test. And then you're gonna search for your most likely Arduino, which is probably the Nano or the Uno. Now be advised, this debug option only works with the Arduino Uno or Nano because those feature the Atmega328 chip and that's necessary for this to work. Okay, gonna select this, use framework Arduino, standard location, whatever, and then you press finish. And this may take some time, so let's have a drink meanwhile. Mm, not even kidding, it's not even for a joke, it's actually hot. Now, after about 12 eons of waiting, you'll be greeted with this, this ugly looking whatever file, platform.ini, it has an alien head. I mean, it's just ready to go. What this actually is, is just a configuration file. So instead of providing a UI, they provide this little code ini file here where you can put your settings. So you can see here, we've got an environment, it's called nano at mega 328. This is the Atmel AVR. It's a nano and the framework is Arduino, of course. And now to make debugging work, we are going to add just a few little lines here. These being the debug tool variable, the debug port variable and the lib depth variable. And what these do is debug tool, it specifies something called AVR stub, which is going to be our debugging device. We are going to specify the port, which the Arduino is currently connected to. For this, connect your Arduino now, go to your device manager and see which, which COM port it is on. And now, Lastly, we're going to install a library, which is configured here in libdeps, which is called AVR Debugger by a guy called J. Doline. Bless him. Just save that. And then we're going to head over to source and main. And this is your classic familiar Arduino entry point. Isn't that wonderful? You've got a setup, you've got your loop. The only thing that's different is you actually have to include the Arduino framework because in the Arduino IDE that's implicitly done, here you have to state it explicitly. Here we have to add some lines as well. First, we have to include two libraries, which are the AVR8 stub and app API if you want to have breakpoints in Flash, which are kind of different from the other breakpoints. After that, there's just one single line missing, and that is debug.init. We're gonna put this here, debug.init. Just be sure you put this on top of your program, so it's the literal first thing to appear in your program, otherwise it won't work. Well, from now, you're ready to go. What else could you want? We're just gonna copy the simple little blinky example that everybody loves. 
just for demonstration purposes. Now you head on over to this little line and you can already see some kind of little dot appearing here. So what we want to do is just put a little dot here, which is a break point. You will actually stop the program here. And then we're gonna hit the magic button F5. And then have some more tea because this is gonna take some time. It's not that hot anymore actually. Okay, it had finished building. And if we check out the debug console, you can actually see that some stuff is happening in the background. It's preparing to actually start the debugger. Don't be scared if it throws you into some interesting looking code. Just put that away. And now you can see we have stopped inside of loop where we wanted to stop. Isn't that crazy? Now you can step forward, you can step over that function and then basically come back to the start by doing this. And see, it's actually pretty interesting because it hops out of loop, which is the function above loop. Don't be scared. If you see this, run again and you should hop back to where you were before. And that's great. And to actually prove that it works, I can actually show you this on the Arduino itself. We're basically sitting on digital right low. And if I step over this, it turns off. And if we run again to the breakpoint, it turns on again. And it turns off again. And this way you can debug anything on at least a Nano or a Uno. Why, why doesn't anybody talk about this?